super family Strongyloidea, and the genus is Chabarsia. Under this genus, we are going to study one of the very important parasites of sheep, goat, cattle, and different other ruminants, that is Chabarsia ovina. And the location of this parasite is large intestine, particularly colon. The distribution of this parasite is worldwide. This parasite is also known as large mouth bowel worm because the buccal capsule is very well developed and they are found in the intestine, particularly the large intestine. Morphological features of Chabarsia ovina. So grossly the parasite is whitish in color around 1 to 2 cm long which is similar to the size of the uh, esophagostomum species and this parasite is also considered one of the largest nematodes in the colon of ruminant and microscopic features include uh, this parasite poses a very large buccal capsule and this is a bell shaped surrounded by double rows of leaf crown and the anterior portion of this parasite is slightly ventral and buccal capsule opens anterior ventrally. This parasite doesn't have any teeth in their buccal capsule and the male versa is well developed. The life cycle of Chabarshi ovina. This life cycle is direct life cycle as there is no involvement of intermediate host. And this life cycle is also similar to the life cycle of Isopagostromum species. But the exception is, in case of Isopagostromum species, for most of the species, there is nodal formation in the large intestine and in small intestine. But for this parasite, there is no nodal formation in the intestine. And the location of this parasite is uh, large intestine that is sicam and colon. So the adult parasite will be found in the large intestine and adult female will lay eggs. This, uh, this eggs will come to the environment through the feces. And in the environment, this eggs will, will be has to produce L1, L2, and L3. L3 is the infective stage. And from egg to L3, it takes around six to seven days, depending on optimum humidity and temperature. And the final host will be infected uh, after having contaminated food and water containing L3 estrays. Then these L3 estrays will travel, travel or reach to the small intestine and there will be an achievement of L3. That is the outer, level, outer covering of the L3 will be cast off. And these L3 estrays will penetrate the wall of the small intestine and will become L4. So remember, from L3 to L4 will be found in the wall of the small intestine or intestine. And this, this L4 stage will migrate to the wall of the intestine and some of the larval stages will find their way to the lumen of the large intestine. And, uh, and when uh, this larval stage will reach to the lumen of the large intestine, they will furthermore to become L5 and adders and afterwards adder will lay eggs and some of the l4 stages that is larval stages will be entrapped in the wall of the small intestine and, and they may be act as the source of reinfection for future cases for completion of this life cycle it takes around seven weeks Pathogenesis of chabarsiosis or chabarsiovina infection in sheep, goat and different other ruminants. So the adults and the young adults, that is L5, will attach themselves with the mucosa as they have very well developed buccal capsule. And due to the, uh, as they have well developed buccal capsule, they will draw the parts of mucosa from the intestine. This is also known as plug feeder. As a result, there will be hemorrhage. As there is hemorrhage, there will be blood loss. This is actually due to the leakage of the blood as well as accidental ingestion of the blood by the parasite. And in severe cases, ultimately there will be anemia and in some cases, uh, the animal may die. Due to the hemorrhage from the intestine, there will be loss of protein and followed by hyperproteinemia. So this hyperproteinemia is a generalized uh, effect not the local effect 
and again due to the hemorrhage there will be inflammation necrosis and some of this intestinal tissue will be uh, healed by fibrous tissue formation and the intestinal wall will, be, uh, will become very thickened as a result there will be loss of absorptive surface and due to this inflammation necrosis fibrous thickening or fibrous thickening and loss of absorptive surface loss of protein there will be some clinical uh, sign for an example diarrhea emaciation and production loss and another uh, pathological lesion can be seen uh, in, in, in on the wall of the intestine due to the biting of the parasite or due to the drying of plaques of intestinal mucosa by the parasite so those lesions are hemorrhagic spores and this can be found throughout the intestine depending on the uh, severity of infection if you look at this picture you can see the biting marks throughout the uh, intestine and in this picture i'm going to show you uh, one of the clinical sign that is uh, bottle jaw or bottle jaw due to the uh, hyperproteinemia and in this case in this picture you can see the sheep is suffering from diarrhea clinical sign of chabrachiosis or chabrachio ovina infection in heavy infection the animal will suffer from marked diarrhea with huge amount of blood and mucus so this is actually due to the damage of the intestinal wall and sometimes there will be passing of soft feces with brown mucus containing flecks of blood in postmortem findings uh, due to the heavy infection in sheep uh, the intestinal wall will be very thickened and there will be uh, some longitudinal ridges can be seen on the intestinal wall and obviously some hemorrhagic spores and a small ulceration can be seen on the intestinal wall and along with this lesion the adult parasite can also be visible uh, on the wall of the cecum and colon that is blood intestine so diagnosis of chabrachiosis or chabrachiovina infection in sheep go different other ruminants uh, for the diagnosis definitely we should look for the clinical history the craving history along with the clinical signs that I have already mentioned and for the confirmatory diagnosis definitely we should go for the coproscopy so after examination of the feces uh, we may get uh, this sort of uh, eggs that is characteristics egg and sometimes the larval stages can also be found after fecal culture uh, which also help in confirmatory diagnosis of chabrachiosis and for the treatment of chabrachiosis different implementations can be used for an example levamizal or broad spectrum uh, ivermectin can also be used so these are the reference books that i have used uh, for the preparation of this presentation and i would like to request all of you to stay with these channels to get more relevant videos on almanthology thank you